Coach McGuire had a lot of good things to say about, said she passed so well in their scrimmage against Texas A&M in the absence of Brom Schreiber, passed a 2.8 in that match. They were so pleased with her performance. And when we talked to Coach McGuire, he thought that given Bram Schreiber's battle with COVID and the testing thereof, that he was very comfortable with Briseño stepping right in and playing a very, very quality match, possibly at the Libro. Nice read that time by Sedwick. Shoot over by Schaff, Mass. But LSU should be a tournament team going forward. They've got enough quality there to get into the tournament. I would think so. Taylor Bannister being that big, excuse me, I didn't yeah. say her name, Taylor Bannister being that big player for LSU the past several years. She's always needed a little help to get over the hump, you know, and I think obviously Kylie DeBerg is more than a little help. She's a big help in an all-American outside hitter. Yeah, Fran's going to have a nice team. That'll be exciting down at LSU and as exciting as Yosiana Presley has been. She, along like Samity, certainly has a professional future ahead of her somewhere in the world and maybe at the Olympic Games as well. Vandermark is Ruth getting in the book. Yeah, we didn't know for sure if we would see Rube right after an ankle tweak that she had in practice. Uh, her ability, you know, she missed the final eight matches last season, so it's great to see her back there wearing the brochure for the Gophers. Good second touch, very effective. Wing blocking, being strong in the core of her body, sealing the net. Great second touch, it was a little tight to the net, so a smart decision. Played at Texas, two-time Volleyball Magazine Player of the Year. Won a national title in 2012 with the Longhorns. And she is coaching pin hitters, so both right side and outsides. Eggleston targeting Wenis on that serve. And Fair just places it over. Gabriel feeding that time field. A challenge there at the net. Shaftmaster dumps it. It was just with one hand right at the net, but even when she's back row, you'll see this play. She can just set this ball over the net, tough to read. That three-point advantage was the largest lead in the set that Texas had. There's a serve with some pace from Glenn. Eggleston right at the block. Minnesota needed that badly. Block, a tough serve. Got to got to give it to Glenn going after it here. And the ball's just a little bit over the net, but there's Samity dropping that. Second on the team in kills this season. Fitzgerald will set. There's Fran Egan on the left side. The Shaftmaster dumps it. Yeah, Melanie uh, is a very tall center. We've talked about this on prior broadcasts and in prior years, Johnny. Quite offensive, and so um, not surprising there that she chose to take that ball over on two. And this is just, it's a really young St. Thomas team. Six of the ten to play in all eight matches for the Tommies. A true freshman. Yeah. So it's going to take some time to grow, especially in the Division One level. It's been an adjustment. I mean, certainly the game has progressed, and club volleyball is. Galvin again. McMiniman to Anna Wolf in the middle. Your number one ish job as a middle, you got to be a great blocker, but you also have to be available as an off. Wenis with the jump serve. Holthouse receives, and Newsom to Holthouse. That's off of Samity. Minnesota able to keep it alive. Now Herrera again. Scotty Johnson on the pin for Michigan there. Shaftmaster underneath it to Samity. Merzik with a tapper, and there's Samity with the dig. She can do that too. Miabe blocked. Michigan's block much improved, we were told, and they're showing it on this point. This is a great rally between Michigan and Minnesota. Jones tools it, Shaftmaster's there. What a dig by Grant. McGraw with the up. Steph, got it!
Both teams have to be happy with how they're playing. Defense just going hard, but here's that last shot. Samity taking something off of it. Nechi Peruka out of Latvia with the jump serve. Shaftmaster dunk. Really nice job by Melanie Shaftmaster. And that she knows when that opportunity is available to her to dump. And you can see nobody. Maryland is trying different things. They're trying high hands. They're trying some tip shots. Um, just not successful yet. Gomillion receives. Raynell Jones in the middle, but another block by who else? Katie Myers. On, and you can tell she tried to sneak it in. And Katie Myers dove into the angle there. You see that diving into that right angle. Wenis on the serve. Dollar will set. Now Samini will play it. Shaftmaster finds the lane. <laughs> Sneaky Melanie little one by, by Sh Melanie Shaftmaster there. You can see it, the look on her face. Um, kind of an interesting play here with a tip and Samity reaching for that ding and Shaftmaster. So Kaylee Thomas now on the serve. Shaftmaster over to Myers, cross court swing. Thomas able to keep it alive as Dowler sends it over. Now Landfair. And a tip by Sire. McGraw able to hang on. Long rally here. Sire's gonna try to send it over. She does, oh, and Landfair. My goodness. <laughs> Lanfair taking care of that overpass. He's scrambling all over the place. You can see Nechi Paduk has no choice. And Taylor. And you got to look at the, the stoic gaze of Hugh McCutcheon for Minnesota right now. Trying to solve this serve for Orgel. And second contact for Shaftmaster will do. Samity. Samity with a curving serve right over the tape. And gets Shaftmaster a chance to swipe. Here's the play. Nice set and save. Goes up with her left hand, throws that thing down. Such a good player, a complete player. She does everything well. Orge a little bit softer that time. Rebound coming to her. And Landfair with the roll. Recue is there, flat footed. Samity smokes it. It's time and it's on and it's a bump set perfectly placed for this back row attack for Stephanie Samity. Well, one hand push out to the pin and Samity strikes that one down. We asked Coach Rose, you know, if he's been to Lollapalooza. Unfortunately he hasn't, but he was excited for tonight. Too busy having parking trouble at the White Sox game this <laughs> summer. So Michigan forced the timeout. Pertoski had the service ace. Gone up three. When it's cut in front there, and Shaftmaster gets the kill. So Michigan set point, trying to set it to five with Paige Jones. And Shaftmaster pulled a fast one on the front line. And Michigan State trying to play some clever defense, but uh, sometimes it simply goes through the gap. It will place Kale Edmonds reaching for it, but did not have the wingspan. Minnesota with a 2-1 advantage in sets. Spartans currently leading the fourth set, 9-6. There's Samity and a dig in the back row by Northwestern. We're going to see a lot of heavy swings from Temi thomas Ilara and Steph Samity tonight. They're on the same side of the floor right now. Samity in the back row, thomas Ilara up front, and that's Wenis from behind the line and a point for Minnesota. Four from 16 to 19. Big block on the left side. over and pushing that right hand back into the court. She knows she's a little bit... They're going to be late arriving elsewhere. And number two, it just takes some of those swings off the shoulder of Samity. And Even though it her. doesn't seem to be <laughs> bothering her at all on that one. Boom. <laughs> Swing, and we're in set two. For a middle blocker to just raise her hands up to 
ear level or even above head height to get in her way. The hustle, that was Jenna Winnis. Out of the back row comes Gonzalez. about that is when you're scrambling Kylie Murr continuing her tough serve they send it out to Gonzalez CC McGraw leaps in Samity Defense on both sides, stellar. Gabby Gonzalez, can she finish it? Samity can. If you like defense, that rally was for you. The low fights, that was not one of them. There were some very quality swings. I'm sick of rolling and swiping and doing all that non-traditional stuff that was going down earlier. There's the patented power from Samity. And Shaftmaster has been a threat at the net tonight. They're just going up so strong. Sees no one's up with her. And just. Now Hayworth rips the serve. Having a big impact, but Myers gets her off in a hurry. One hand, a really tough spot to be in if you're a setter. Going up, you make the other players jump. He had a little edge to him, a little bit of intensity in his responses. I enjoyed uh, talking to him, but there was definitely an edge to him. A little mistimed with the middle there as Kathy could not get it down. Back row up by Kubik. Back to Kathy again, who has been terrific as of late. And there's Shaftmaster. Petty play back line the kill. Sort of touch on the ball. Here you're going to see slowing down the ball just a little bit, but with a great defensive up. If you're Nebraska, you have got to stay home as a left side blocker on her, knowing that she's going to get a lot of sets. Second touch, Shaftmaster put it to the floor, and the Gophers with a three-point advantage. <laughs> Ball is passed up perfectly. She can get the sense that nobody is jumping with her. Second ball to McGraw after Samity. And Pedraza in the Ohio State offense pick out Gonzalez. Easy tap for Moore. And Raider dug by Samity. Incredible effort from her and Wenis. Gonzalez with the pump out to McGraw. And Samity soaring in. Murr there. 20 plus digs already for Kylie Murr. Three chance coming. One of these nice extended long rallies. Plays on after the block touch. And Samity can't get it past Gruensfelder. Gonzalez into the block. One of the best rallies of the night, the night of great rallies. And that one's out off of Gonzalez. No spin, maybe a little swerve on it. No way. And oh my goodness, Stephanie Samity. Balls from that right side. And look how much heat she is bringing on the ball. And I mean, there is no. Illinois. Minnesota played to five in their first matchup last year. And on two, Shaftmaster will dump it down. Shaftmaster flings it over. Only Shaftmaster surprising the Illini I too, and it's the biggest advantage for either team in a set. In the middle, a double block. Illinois recovers. Quick to the middle. Good save and dig by Cooper. Now a tap by Cooney. 
from the back row. Wenis right off the body of Cooper. Somehow the Illini run it down and the rally continues. Miyabi off the top of the block. Another dig by Cooper. Free ball coming over. Minnesota back into system for Samity. There was no block on it. That's a layup. Easy, wide open. on serve receive and now Minnesota doing it right back to Purdue in the second set. Bush with the quick ball in the middle to Coleman and this time Minnesota was ready for Purdue. And she knows that you've got to take one shot away able to set whomever she wants a nice tempo to that right pin. Great serve from Jenna Otek. Samity puts that one inside the 10 foot line. Is an answer to stop that that ball hitters to get outside and have a big approach on that swing. Shaftmaster takes a page out of Haley Bush's playbook. At the ball, but take a look at how she takes that ball. Nice, and she is a fast kid, but defense is not her specialty. So that is where scouting is important, and you know exactly where you want to tip the ball. Both here on the floor tonight. Oh, what a tip! That she has a good feel of where the block is, throws that one right behind her head. No one can come up with it. A little bit of intensity on the floor right now <laughs> for both of these clubs. Back row, Samity, look out! Man, this is going to be scary even in slow motion. Coming in hot out of the back row, Stephanie Samity, watch. Stark getting a huge opportunity to play early in the season when Erica Pritchard had an injury, still getting opportunities with Pritchard back and getting the start tonight. Blossom to Parker. Kill Kelly, or uh, McGraw rather keeps it up and Samity out of the back puts it down. She's in the back row. It's a broken play. It's a bump set to her. You know she's getting the ball and she still finds a way for the... Myers to send this one away for Minnesota. The other way from Maryland. O'Million with the dig. Back for Paula. Another good rally here. Diving safe. One more time. Another diving safe. And just over the net, a good job just keeping the ball moving forward, carrying the momentum. Sire once again. Top of the net. with the serve. Chef Meister. And a beautiful shot. 